Hey guys, welcome to part 8 of my discord.py making a discord bot and python video tutorial, youtube tutorial, whatever. Uh, in this video we're going to be going over embeds. So what embeds are, are essentially a way of sort of uh, formatting your output, or not your output, but just sort of what the bot's saying. Actually I guess that is your output. But um, it's not technically a message that you're sending out, it's just sort of the embed. Like you'll see, you'll have to set an embed and you'll have to create it beforehand. Um, but it's just a way of sort of making your uh, bot messages look a bit nicer and it uh, gives you a bit more room to format the message. So let's get right into it. What I'm going to be doing for this video is I'm going to be creating a command that simply displays the embed. And I'll be creating an embed where I'll just sort of label all of the information and uh, then run it in uh, Discord so you can sort of visualize how the embed is laid out. And uh, I think it'll just make it easier for you guys to visually see it as well as see it in the code. But again, let's get right into it. So at client.command, you know, we've gone over this many times now. We're just making a command, def display embed. That's just what I'm going to call it. And uh, I don't believe I'll have to be passing in contacts for this, but we'll see. I'm going to call the embed, uh, just embed, I guess. And I want to set it to discord. Dot embed. Make sure you have the capital E. So this part might get really tedious simply because I'm just going to be going over every single attribute, or not every single one, but sort of the more important ones. Um, but yeah, it'll sort of seem like I'm rushing through it, but trust me, there's not too much to say about each of these. So the first thing we're going to go over when physically creating the embed is the title. Pretty straightforward, you set a title. Title is equal to title. It's literally it. You also want to make sure you have your commas in between each of the attributes of the embed. So just, if you're having any errors, that's probably why. I've screwed up on that a lot. But uh, next, you're going to have your description. This will sort of be the body of the embed. This is a description. Fair enough. Comma. Uh, and lastly, you're going to want to be changing the color. So I'm not entirely sure if you can use color without the U. As you can see, I've spelled it here with this U here. I'm a Canadian, so it just sort of comes naturally for me to write, write it with the U. But again, I'm not sure if you can use it without the U, just double check. Um, worst case scenario, you have to throw in an extra letter, it's not the end of the world. And uh, to set the color, you can use hex codes and things like that. Uh, I'll let you refer to the API for that. But uh, in terms of getting sort of generic colors, like you know, red, blue, green, orange, even like light blue or dark blue, things like that, Discord's kind of got you covered. Um, let's say just even put blue in. We can just simply put discord.color dot blue and just like that we've set our color pretty straightforward so that's all for creating the embed now we're going to sort of modify our existing embed so the first thing we can do is we want to say embed dot set footer so now as you might have expected the footer is just going to be text along the bottom of the embed so we can just say text is equal to this is a footer I don't know Next, we're going to change the image of the embed. So embed set image. And you're simply going to pass in the URL of the image that you want to set in the embed. I'm just going to put a Discord link to my profile picture in here, simply because I don't know what else to put. And I have it saved off to the side. Um, but yeah, that'll be now a nice big image in the middle, or not in the middle, but it's towards the bottom of the embed. Um, of my profile picture, or at least the image that I use to get my profile picture. Next we're going to set our thumbnail, embed set thumbnail. Again, you're just going to pass in a URL, pretty straightforward still. Uh, next we're going to be setting the author, so set author. Alright, so so far we have set footer, set image, set thumbnail, and set author. Um, so the author, you can specify the author's name. So I'm just going to say author name. And you can say the icon URL. And this will just sort of be um, not like a prefix, but it'll show up just before their name. Again, you'll see it visually when, uh, when we run this code. But I'm, again, just going to set this equal to my Discord profile picture. Okay. Embed add field 
is next, and this is actually the last one that I'm going to go over. Adding a field essentially just splits up the embed into different sections that you can use to sort of uh, display information, at least that's what I use it for. I use it when creating my help command. I set each field to a different command. I put the sort of name of the field, which I'll show you. You can name the field. Um, I'm going to just say field name. That would be, I guess, the you know the actual command, like, I don't know, dot ping, for example. And then I'd set the value to sort of like the command description. So here I'm just going to put field value. And here I might say um, simply makes the bot say pong or something like that. I don't know, just a quick description of what the, or what the command does and maybe how to use it, things like that. And lastly, you can set if the uh, field is inline. So what inline means is essentially it's just in a line. You know, if it's not in line, they'll be stacked on top of each other. If it is in line, then they'll be put up next to each, next to each other. Blah, I sort of stuttered there. So I'm going to set this one to false, and I'm going to actually sort of copy this. I want to paste like two more, and I'm going to set these to true. So you can just sort of see the difference. So basically how this should work is you'll have one M or one field on top, and then two more underneath it in a line. So it'll look like sort of an L shape. And yeah, so now you've created your embed here. You Here you've created your embed. And then with this code, you've modified your existing embed. Now all you want to do is display the embed. So you're just going to say await client.say. Keep in mind you can also use this in send message. Um, but we're just going to be using say for the sake of simplicity and because we're making a command in the first place. And you're just going to set embed equal to the embed you made. Oops. So my embed for this message is equal to embed. I probably should have named it something else, but I'm not going to change it now because I'd have to change this and all of these here. But yeah, that's basically it in terms of creating the embed. Uh, let's run the code. All right, on ready, boom. Just like that. Oh, what's this doing here? Get out of here. All right. Wait, that was actually the command. Display embed. All right, so this is the embed that we've sort of created. And I sort of just created it like this, as you can see, so you can um, visually sort of see what um, you're creating uh, with that code. So as you can see, here you have your image. Actually, can I sort of shrink this down? Kind of? No, it's kind of bad. I'll just go over this. So here's your title, obviously. So you have your title, your description. These here are the fields that we've used with the uh, embed.add field. As you can see, the first one is not in line. That's why it's stacked above these two, which are in line. And as you can see, they are in a line. The footer is down here, naturally. You have your image, which is this big image right here. Up here, you have your thumbnail. You can see a lot of bots, when they have like profile commands and things like that, they throw um, the user's profile picture up there. And up here, you can have your author's name and the icon URL um, that you set when you created your author or when you set your author. So personally, I like to use the author name and uh, icon URL as a sort of title for my embeds, simply because if you look here, excuse me, uh, the title and the description, they look pretty similar to the regular fields, and they don't sort of stand out like I wish a title would. Um, but yeah, it's that's the system Discord has, and uh, so I just sort of use this as um, my title as opposed to my author name. And in the event that I need an author, like, you know, user did this or user did that. Yeah, sure, I'd throw it in there or maybe even throw it in as this title here. But I just sort of like it being uh, split up from the rest of the embed. But yeah, that's essentially it. Um, that's how you create an embed. This is what it looks like going back to the code. This is it. Pretty straightforward. Um, I don't think it's too complicated. Again, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, um, again, also leave them in the comments below. Uh, let's quickly actually go over what we did. I didn't do that. Um, so we created our embed. We set the title, description, and color. We learned how to sort of use the built-in Discord colors here. We set the footer, pretty straightforward. You just adjust the text. You set the image by pasting a URL. You also set the thumbnail simply by pasting the URL. You can set an author by putting in the name of the author and an icon that you want to show up just to the left of their name. And you can also add fields and fields essentially just split up your embed into different sections that you can use to format your information a bit different, a bit differently. And we also learned how to send 
um, send the message. By the way, for those of you who are using send message, I actually will quickly show you how to use it. So first, I will need to pass context. You obviously can't do this in an, uh, when uh, using it in an event, but I can say channel is equal to ctx message channel. Now I have the channel, and I'd simply say await client dot whoops send message channel, and then again embed equals embed. Let me comment this out and run this. Let me close my old one, and this should yep do the same thing. Display embed. Oh boy, display embed. Can I spell today? Display embed perfect and it's not working ah that's right I did not pass context in here run again get rid of that don't look at this display embed there we go so it does the same thing that's just how you would use it when using a send message function as opposed to a save function um, just basically pass in the channel and create your embed pass it in instead of the message and uh, you're good that's essentially it. So that's it for this video. Again, please leave your suggestions for future videos in the comments below. This video was actually a suggestion. Um, so yeah, I've been getting to a couple of those. I think I did that for the past video or the video before. Um, but yeah, I, I try to help you guys. So just let me know what you want me to make a video on. If it's something really simple, I might just help you in the comments or you can message me on Discord, something like that. Um, but if it's something I feel that I can make a video about because I feel enough people might check it out, um, then yeah, I will. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a like if you did, and uh, I'll see you all later. Bye.